Thanks for joining us again. Let's get into this week's Things You Need to Know. As you may be aware, much waste is created when tearing down old, unused buildings. Portland, Oregon, on the other hand, is recycling a 90-year-old bridge as a new one gets built on top of it. While a team disassembles the Selwood Bridge, nearly 100% of the materials will be set aside to be reused. A recent report showed that the University of Washington in Seattle has a backlog of $1 billion worth of maintenance for its aging buildings. According to consultant group Sightline, that's about 3% of what all U.S. universities owe for repair work. While we wrapped up the AEC Hackathon last weekend, Hyperloop One is hosting a design and build competition of their own. They're calling teams from all over the world to take part in their 48-hour event where they will be working on how to make a trip from Dubai to Kujaira take only 10 minutes. And since we're exploring news within the United Arab Emirates, let's shift our focus to Abu Dhabi. Scientists from the Mastar Institute of Science and Tech have developed a solar energy technology using sand, naming it Sandstock. After several rounds of testing, Sandstock proved it may help reduce costs in converting solar heat into electricity and help improve round-the-clock energy conservation. If you've ever been to Houston, you've probably noticed it differs from other major cities in one big way. There aren't many people living within the actual city. Houston developer Search Homes may be shaking things up. They've announced their plans to build 14 micro condos in their new $22 million, 28 unit residential building. These will be the first micro condos in the Texas city. Well, that's a wrap for this week's Things You Need to Know. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the section below. Today, I'll leave you with footage from some of our stories. Subscribe to our channel so we can catch you next time.